any different medical conditions. As I mentioned in the initial video that I've done, um, we also know that black seed oil is not new to a lot of people, cultures, and communities, as it's been used in traditional medicine uh, in, in many cultures throughout the world for years. Uh, but now, certainly uh, in the West and in other places, it's sort of coming, uh, it's coming up and we're seeing and hearing more about it. So I'm talking about it. First of all, I do want to let you know, make sure you check out that first video, which sort of lays the groundwork for potential benefits of black seed oil. I'll put that in the description of this video. Also, if you send me a DM or write in the comments, I will send you the link if you don't see it as well. All right, let's, um, let's just jump right in. Okay. First thing I need to say though, before I give you the potential dangers is I need to level set with you and let you know a couple of things. I said this in the other video, but you have to hear it again. It's very important. Number one, uh, in this country, uh, 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 vitamins and supplements are not tightly regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. Um, that cr can create lots of potential variances, variations, and problems, and even discrepancies in terms of supplements and vitamins that we have. I need to say that. Number two, we don't have a lot of data uh, supporting vitamins and supplements, meaning we don't have a lot of data about them at all. So the data I give you today, by the way, the source is NatMed. Um, I want you, I, it's always important to know the source. You can go to medlineplus.gov. It will take you to NatMed or NatMed. Um, that is the source I am using for this evidence about the um, potential dangers. Understand that this source um, uh, is giving you know some of the evidence at, at, at the best level that we have right now, but we don't have enough evidence or a lot. Okay. So I need to say this, let's now start talking about potential dangers, okay? According to Nat Med, when it comes to breastfeeding, we don't have enough reliable information to really know if black seed is safe to use when breastfeeding or not. Uh, but there are a few other things you should know as well. And by the way, in a situation like that, as a family doctor, I'm recommending my patients always be safe rather than sorry, but you need to talk to your doctor about what's right for you. Other potential problems that black seed oil could cause is black seed actually might slow blood clotting um, and increase your risk of bleeding. Now, this could be a problem in a number of situations, could make bleeding disorders worse, also could uh, mean that black seed may interact with any blood thinners or things like that that you might be on, okay? According to NatMed as well, uh, black seed may not be the most beneficial when it comes to uh, pre and post-surgical times. Uh, they say that black seed might potentially interfere with drugs used during and after surgery and surgical procedures and cause potential side effects, okay? A few other potential side effects. Black seed might lower blood pressure. And while you say, well, gosh, that sounds good to me. Well, the problem is um, there could be problems with that, number one, in terms of how much it lowers blood pressure, if it does that for you or others. But the other thing is it could potentially interact with blood pressure medications. Also, black seed might lower blood sugar. Um, my, many of you might say, oh, that's a good thing. Remember, if your blood sugar is too low, it can actually be dangerous, potentially deadly. Uh, and so black seed, potentially for some people, if you're taking it with other medications that can lower blood blood sugar, that can be a problem. I mentioned that black seed could slow blood clotting and increase the risk of bleeding. Uh, taking it with other supplements that might do this could increase your risk. It could cause problems in, in those people with underlying bleeding disorders, etc. Black seed also, this is according to NatMed, still might cause sleepiness and slowed breathing. Um, so this might be a problem in some people. And also, uh, black seed could potentially increase a brain chemical called serotonin uh, and taking it with other supplements, other medications may have a very, very serious side effects. Um, also, side effects noted of black seed uh, have been things like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, gastrointestinal side effects. There are others potentially as well. One thing I will say with that is that there is no medication, vitamin, or supplement on the market that um, is potentially without some side effects, but those are as well. Uh, going back to the list uh, that NatMed gives us, black seed also might increase the amount of iron that your body absorbs. So if you're taking it with iron supplements or things like that, that may have a, you, there may be problems also if you have any underlying conditions that could be affected by this as well. Also, keep in mind, some medications are broken down by or affected by the liver, and black seed may change how quickly the liver breaks down these medications, and this could actually change the effects and side effects of your other medications, okay? Also, according to NatMed, black seed can increase the activity of the immune system, okay? That may not be good if you're on transplant medications or you're on other medications uh, where your immune system is involved, so do not assume that these 
these things are necessarily good things. Um, I know this is a long list, but I wanted to sort of rattle off some of the things that NatMed, uh, MedlinePlus.gov has said. Also, black seed can decrease potassium levels. That can be a danger for some people as well. Um, let me just sort of put this into context really, really quickly, okay? Um, this is based on evidence that we have right now, but I would argue that the evidence we have is probably and likely not sufficient. In fact, I do not think the evidence we have is sufficient. While these things may happen, it's not a guarantee that these things will happen to you or or, or other things may not happen to you, okay? There are just things we are still learning about vitamins and supplements. We need to know more. I've always said this. Hopefully, we will get more data about vitamins and supplements. I'm saying all of this to say you've got to be cautious. This is not a, um, a, a this is, this video is not sort of a, a blueprint for you to then say how to take your supplements. What this is, is information for you to understand that there can be potential dangers to taking supplements, just like there can be potential side effects to medications, okay? The difference, and there are many differences, is that with uh, with uh, FDA approved medications, um, we have more data and uh, on side effects, efficacy, and everything, and we know that they work for some things and don't work for others, and we know side effects much more than we know with uh, vitamins and supplements. There's other differences as well. My point being is, do not take this video as a guide to then determine how to take a supplement. This should be. Um, just a heads up that there can be side effects. Remember that just because it's natural does not mean that it is necessarily safe. It also does not mean it's necessarily right for you and supplements can have interactions. What you need to do is you need to talk to your doctor about what might be right for you or not. And you might say, I've said this before, a lot of people say, well, doctors don't know anything about supplements. Well, we don't know as much as we would like to know, but we do often know enough about you and your medical conditions and stuff to have a guess about if we would recommend a certain supplement for you. Do not just go taking supplements willy nilly, okay? Because that could be a recipe for disaster. This is just a very small spiel. This is data according to NatMed. I want to be very clear about the source. And those were things that they found in, in small studies that were done, but the studies were small. The studies were not great. And like I said, we don't have enough data. That is not sufficient in my opinion, but it is some of the information that we have right now. I know there's a lot of disclaimers here. I have to say them. I do. I would not be, I would not be a board certified doctor who believes in evidence-based medicine if I didn't. Um, just use this information to then go to your doctor and have a conversation and understand that you shouldn't be making these decisions for yourself and by yourself if you are interested in taking supplements. I do want to know what you do, what your habits are, what you think, etc. Right in the comments. Let me know if you take black seed, what your practice is, what your habits are, you talk to your doctor and things like that. That is very, very important. Okay. Um, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Once again, take a look at the first video on the potential benefits of black seed oil. Okay. Uh, I'll put that in the description or uh, just DM me and I'll send you the link as well. Um, also, uh, Facebook, please like and follow my page. For those of you who send stars, I respond personally. Thank you so much. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, check out my website, drjencottle.com for my free health newsletter and all sorts of other stuff. Guys, just make sure you are being cautious, that you are being aware and that you are knowing uh, and understanding uh, the potential risks. All right, guys. All right. We'll see you. Oh, and I should say, if I have not before, I know you're like, oh my gosh, she's still talking, but I am. Um, and this video is not a, an, an endorsement for black seed oil. This is just information about what we have, information we have up to this point. All right, guys. Love y'all.